I'm Brenda, and I'm here with Stephanie, Beth, and Karina to discuss their book, Organizing from the Heart. Hey, Karina, do you have a favorite chapter in the book? Um, systems. We do spend a chapter on systems, and I love <coughs> systems. I like creating them. I like, I'm a place, what they call a place person. Ask my husband, because what he tells our children, if you don't touch or play with that, in six months, it's gone. Mom's going to give it away. You need to use it or it's gone. So I enjoy, again, helping, I think, people think through what is the best way for me to do. If shoes are driving you crazy, where can you put your shoes? What's what's the way we can work with that? And, again, getting to it from a heart. Why are you feeling frustrated about that? Why haven't you been able to come up with that? But um, that's probably one of my favorites. Stephanie? Ah, that's an easy one. The... Um, the last chapter on mm -hmm. celebrating um, a successful, you know, project uh, completion, although mm -hmm. it's really not completed, it's the journey, <laughs> journey. but, but journey. celebrating <laughs> the victories along the way. Even in the Old Testament, um, you see that God instructs people to take stones and put mark markings on them to remind them of the journey that they've just been on and where he was in that journey for them. And I'm a believer that uh, we are writing our stories with Christ. We're co-authoring our stories. Mm -hmm. And those stories are not for us. Um, there's a, an author, Dan Allender, who's written a wonderful book called The Healing Path. And one of the things that he talks about in that book is that the, God never wastes anything. Mm -hmm. Whatever your struggle is, whatever your challenge is, all the tears, all the laughter, everything in your life, God has a plan to use that for His glory. Um, and so, and I've seen him do it in my life. I know we've all shared stories of that. I've watched him do that in the lives of, of my clients. And uh, so I think we have to remember to celebrate, take time and stop mm -hmm. and celebrate, not just as a means of, hey, you know, look what we've done, look where we're, we're coming from, but, but God may use your celebration and your victory to encourage someone who's watching you um, to take their first step. So I think that's my favorite chapter. I assume you were asking me this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, uh, Stephanie mentioned that I, I do enjoy temperaments, understanding my temperament. So I don't know if, if there's any one chapter that's my favorite, but there is a chapter that we deal with that your personality and your energy cycle mm -hmm. uh, tie into how you organize your home. And I think, again, mm -hmm. this is one of those cases so many women try to be like everybody else. Mm -hmm. They try to be like their best friend who has, like, Karina's a night person, okay? <laughs> she can be up till midnight or one and do her chores and clean up. No. There's no way. I, I, my toggle switch starts going off at about 9.30. I've seen and, it. It's true. Yeah. And so the dishes are, forget it. But I can get up in the morning mm -hmm. and just kind of, okay, I'll clean up the dishes or get the laundry started or, or whatever. And it's not necessarily early morning, but I'm kind of like, you know. <laughs> oh, no, there's some early. Yeah, yeah. early, right? Yeah. And so I have to understand that if I try to consistently do mm -hmm. chores at 10 o'clock at night, I'm not going to do them well. Mm -hmm. That's not my energy yeah. cycle. I need to get to bed. Uh, if she tries to get up super early and do a bunch of stuff, that may not work for her either. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with, with our personalities. I'm more of a big picture person. And so for me, it is better to serve my family by at least picking up the entire house and doing a quick vacuum. Mm -hmm. And let other family members do the dust you know, <laughs> on the corners and really washing the, the floor and do a very, like I said, my husband can do a very thorough cleaning. Mm -hmm. I can do a quicker pickup, though. And so if we can work that teamwork together, then that... Kind of, I can keep the house looking presentable, and he can do the deeper cleaning when companies come in or, or what, that kind of thing. So I think that chapter hopefully will interest a lot of readers <laughs> sure. to give them permission to understand that, oh, all right. No, no, systems is going to be their favorite. Oh, okay. okay. No, okay. I'm really going to have to go with You're celebrating. You're going to have to celebrate it? Okay. Well, there are 12 ladies. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's right. plenty. Right. One for every month. They can enjoy, enjoy one chapter. Yeah.